hey guys it's josh again so this was where we left off in the previous tutorial the previous tutorial we created an xls form with three tabs namely choices survey and then settings so now we are coming to upload the xls onto our online server which is known as the owner server or the odk aggregate or the odk central okay so now without wasting much time let me open my browser and get started on the creation of the owner account okay so it seems i have um an account already so let me just close this and open okay let me open it up uh, new private tab now the link to the owner or the url is just owner.io so owner.io slash then you hit enter great so it's helping you do amazing things with data blah 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 okay so this is an overview of their website this is how their website looks like una so now since it's a data collection platform it has given us an opportunity to work for free so we can also get a paid account with better services but since it's just a simple project we are handling let's just go to the get free account so now with the get free account you would need a username so now the username let me use a simple username say um i've used josh key code flex code underscore flex the username will be simply josh first name will be josh then last will be boot great then my email my dot zero one one nine four zero eight three d dot cps one c at gmail dot com right now the password mm, okay um sign up great we, we are good to go all right so welcome owner welcome to owner judge good okay now our plan we are choosing here is the free plan make sure you choose you you've chosen the free plan to so continue due dates zero monthly blah 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 okay now here says are you collecting eu citizen data we are not collecting EU citizen. if it's yes this account has forms that has collect that has collected or are collecting data on eu citizens that eu has a privacy le legislation called general data protection blah 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 and we are not taking any data on eu citizen so just check the no button this account does not have forms blah 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 yeah. So this, this is what you have to check now we save it great now welcome taking a few minutes blah 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 let's just skip this so with the platform there's the home button there is the home button and then there is project so if if you've had so now as you can see there's a default project and it's private nobody can search for this and see it it's private there's a default first and then what's new if you click what's new to take you to a different open a different website web page for you but we are not interested in that we are interested in uploading our xls form now okay so now let's just get started and then go to the new project we are creating a new project now 
we need to name our project so our project name we'll name it whether previous we can you can also name it according to how you titled the xls form so demo graphy wow demography of dex africa staff members great all right so the category notes the category it's what we are doing as we are collecting as a survey just a simple survey so we won't just go and choose general or anything or like that you can choose general fine but it's a simple survey so we'll choose a baseline survey now let's create the project now as you can see share options of demography decks africa staff members you can share it you can make it private now it says your current plan limit prevents you from creating private projects great now all we only do is public projects and then you can add a single collaborator meaning you are adding someone known to help you manage your data perform simple data analysis and all those stuff to get access to the data and you can add multiple collaborators if you want if you are in fear and great so what we'll do is just check this and then close it okay now as you can see we have two projects now the project there's the default project and then let's say there's our first project we created so now we just click on the demo of dex africa staff members and it says uh, forms are here a project form can be stored alphabetically by last submissions date date blah 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 if you go to next here is a tab that you can add a form done okay so we can add a form here so basically what we are coming to do today is to just upload our xls onto the owner server to be able to to be able to use it and connect it to our odk collect right so let's just get started by going to add a form now if you go to add a form if you have let's say your xls form sitting somewhere on a cloud you can just link it by copying the link to the file here to add it or if you have a drop box account you can just and then you've saved it in your dropbox account you can choose the file from your dropbox account and then get started with it but we are not doing any of these because we created it on-prem on our laptop so we'll just upload it from our laptop onto the owner server great so we'll just click choose file to upload now you have to check where the directory in which your file is if it's on desktop you choose desktop if it's a document or download wherever you kept your file you need to look for it so mine was on desktop right so desktop desktop now we should choose it i remember we named it data underscore one so data underscore one open now let's upload it as you can see there are no mistakes now let's just go back to our xls form let me make a slight mistake and upload it again and then let's see what will happen so we'll cancel now minimize okay this is it let me just make a simple in the previous tutorial i said something that when let's say respondent when i put an apostrophe here right saying respondents date of birth there will be an error when you're uploading onto your owner server so let's just make this error and see what the platform will tell us so let's save it saved close great okay now let's add a form again choose data underscore one right open upload great it says an error has occurred row two now it has given us exactly where the fault is it says rows two invalid question name respondents date of birth names must begin with letter colon or underscore subsequent characters can include numbers dashes or periods your file now it's saying uh, 
your files should have a dot xls or blah 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 extension to be able to what upload it onto the form so now as you can see it has given us an error so we'll make sure you you don't make any errors else you'll be getting error 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 until everything is correct before it can be uploaded onto the owner server so now let's just go and correct the mistake again and then upload it again and see what will happen okay so great let me just remove this save it now let's add the form again really <laughs> oh dear it's saying what form with this id or sms keyword oh, okay already exists see another error so let me i think i'll have to correct this in the settings yeah in the settings um let me add a form id and see just a dummy digit And then let's see it let's try uploading it again and see if it doesn't work then i have to change the title Good. hooray it has worked okay so these are some simple errors you'll be meeting okay now let's save the form now now we have saved the form now how do we know a form with which think includes that form builder okay i see i'm using it in an incognito mode that's why i think it will be the second one so meaning it was uploaded the first time and it kept it see this data can be viewed in map table or quick summary charts so let's just skip this okay now we have uploaded our data here now let's go to charts and see something so as you can see it says what date of birth now the first response or the first question was date of birth and it says no valid visual uh, visual lab. oh god <laughs> visualizable data rights good <laughs> oh god so submission time submission time is not here sex as you can see responses no responses zero responses are you hispanic or not so as you can see what we created in our now this is the field right oh, really <laughs> Six. Let me see. Oh, okay, I get it. So these are the name variables. Yes, the name variables I created. And then, as you can see, this name variable is for it's for gender, and then this name variable is for language. Great. Uh, sadly. nothing 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 so this is how it is now so based on the questions we created and how we structured the form this was this is what has happened to our form now great okay so um okay as you can see the form id i created in the settings tab this is it the dummy id this is it now and then 
the, there's the title as you can see form title so it's what demography data on Dex Africa this is the form title now description I didn't add it in description I could have add a tab called description but I didn't okay and then the current version now this is the version of it so if we collect the data and then we if we connect this form to our ODK collect and then collect data and then review it again by uploading it onto our owner server to download it from the owner server that's database that we have you you will see this number in the version part where we created in the xls form and also the form id you see everything there okay okay so without wasting much time let's show you guys how to connect it okay now you can it says submitting data you can submit it by using an enco owner by using web forms which it's an enco to wow enketo enketo.owner.io but with this if you don't have an owner account you can't have access to it yes so since we will be sending it to people or the staff and we, pre we presume that the staff members they don't have all don't all of them don't have an owner account so we'll just let the staff members download the odk collect onto their mobile phones rather so with this you just come to using odk collect now the server loof there are just some simple steps to it okay so this tutorial is just upload help you upload or get an understanding on how to upload your xls form onto the owner server or the odk aggregate or the odk central all right this is just the tutorial if you don't have any understanding just leave it in the comment section i'll reply quickly asap as soon as possible okay so this tutorial was just to give you a gist or an overview of how to create an owner server account and then how to upload your xls form onto the owner server okay thank you guys for having me i would also continue on with how to that's the third part the last phase by using the odk collect so this is what i have for you guys today peace vlogged out kindly subscribe to my channel and like and comment and share thank you josh loved out